Hello, I'm going to show you how to configure the webhook. This is a code snippet that needs to be configured in IDX Broker, and it is necessary to use some of our apps like the Daily Returning Visitors Report and Text Alerts for Agents. The first thing you need to do is to go to the About tab, and it gives you some information about how to do this in a video. Um, but basically, you go here to this link, it will take you to your IDX broker dashboard. In this case, this account, which is the demo account, already has um, the code added in. You might find, for example, that when you go to that link, your page is completely empty. Um, if it looks like this, just turn this off so that it looks like the code. So let's imagine you go into this page and it's completely empty. What you have to do is to copy this code and paste it here. You want to make sure that you don't delete anything that's already there. So if you go into this page and you see that this is there, you don't want to delete any of that. You just want to copy this code and paste it here. In this case, this account already has um, that code added, but if it didn't, you just paste it after any code that is there, or if it's blank, you just paste it there and click on Save Changes. After that, you want to go here and click on validate. In most cases, everything will be validated and you will see some green buttons here. It might take some time, but there might be cases where some of these pages are not validated. And in that case, you have to do some troubleshooting. So for example, if it were to say that this page featured, it said um, in a red button not found or like it's, it didn't say success, you would have to go here pages and then find the featured and paste the code there again. If you find that, for example, the details pages doesn't say success and there's a red button here, um, you would have to look for it, for example, here and then paste the code and save the changes. Usually when this happens is because there's some other stuff in here. Um, so you might see a P or in the categories a C um, and then you click on that page, the one that isn't validated, paste the code there, save the changes. If you have any issue with this, just let us know and we can configure the webhook for you.